Prince Philip warned the Queen she would have to leave the car unless she stopped yelping and complaining about his speeding when they were younger, the Duke's friend Giles Brandreth has revealed. Speaking to BBC Radio 4 Today programme, Prince Philip's old friend Giles Brandreth revealed the Duke of Edinburgh once threatened Queen Elizabeth to push her out of the car unless she stopped complaining about his speeding. Mr. Brandreth claimed to have learned the story from Prince Philip's cousin Countess Mountbatten whose father was in the car with the royal couple at the time. Mr. Brandreth claimed the Queen was yelping and holding her breath as the Duke drove far too fast through Cowdery Park but obeyed to his order. He said, I have been in a car with him and I have to say he drives really well, but he can drive fast. When he was younger he was a dynamo, he did everything fast. He was a dynamo and he could be impatient. His cousin, Countess Mountbatten told me that her father, Lord Mountbatten, was once driving with the Queen and Prince Philip through Cowdery Park and Prince Philip was going far too fast according to Lord Mountbatten. The Queen was sort of yelping and drawing in her breath and flinching as he drove so fast. And Prince Philip turned to her and said look if you do that once more I will put you out of the car. And when the hair-raising journey came to an end Lord Mountbatten asked the Queen why she hadn't protested saying you were the Queen. But the Queen said oh, but you heard what he said and he meant it. It comes as the Duke was involved in a car accident close to Sandringham Mistate on Thursday afternoon. Prince Philip, 97, was not injured in the two-vehicle crash, according to Buckingham Palace. He is back at Sandringham and has received the all-clear from a doctor after being examined as a precaution. Norfolk police said officers were called to the estate shortly before 3 p.m. in response to reports of a collision involving two cars. A force spokesman said police and ambulance attended and two people in one of the vehicles suffered minor injuries. Kensington Palace refused to comment on Mr. Brandreth's allegations.